So there's a couple things going on. First, um, about an hour ago, I ate uh, literally half a bucket of Trader Joe's little uh, chocolate chip cookies. So I should have the nutrition I need to uh, look for wildlife tonight. Second thing is, you can see behind me uh, tons of monsoon activity off in the distance. Lightning, uh, according to the weather, which is um, pretty much always accurate uh, during monsoon time. Uh, there will not be monsoon activity where I am for the next couple hours. Uh, everything's very wet, so I'm going to look for some amphibians and uh, see what snakes I can find. So I'm in this wash here and there's been so much monsoon activity over the past month that there's just water just freely flowing down this. You can hear there's frogs calling. I've seen a whole bunch of frogs. Let's see if we can find some more. But it's it's really humid out here. Oh, here we go, right here. So I've seen a bunch of these already. I think this is a red spotted toad. I think. This time I got it for real. Let's see if we can get it to focus. Come on, there we go. I think this is a red spotted toad. It definitely has red spots on its back. And I've seen a ton of these already. Already walking up this wash. So they this is about as big as I've seen them before. So probably it's an adult. Yeah, these things are definitely everywhere tonight. In this wash. What they look like. Fine. Oh, there he goes. Red spotted toad, here's another one right here. There. One's a lot redder than the last one we saw. That's pretty neat. There's one. In that pool right there. There's another one right here. Wow. Okay, I found a second species of toad. I think it is a spadefoot uh, toad of, of some sort. I really should have brought my field guide out. I didn't, I'm not great with identification of amphibians, uh, but uh, I'll look it up when I get home. I think this is similar to one we found in my house one time. Let's get a close up of it. Okay, here's a close up of this guy. Yeah, so see the pattern's totally different than the red spotted. It has those. Those eyes are so cool. Focus. There we go. 
Yeah, so pretty neat. So this is, again, I think this is a spade foot, but I'm not entirely sure, but this would be the second species I've seen. This is pretty gnarly. I turned all the lights off. And that's just a big monsoon cloud over there. I would hate to be under that. And it's just non-stop lightning over there. Luckily I can see the stars everywhere where I'm at and uh, looks like I'll be safe for a while. Okay, this is a different species right here. Oh, this thing is so cool. Okay, I'm gonna go grab it. Up a little guy. Okay, this is yet another species. Okay, <clears throat> I am pretty confident this is a Great Plains Toad. This is the first one of these I've ever seen. It's definitely not a Sonoran Desert Toad. That green, those green patterns on there. Really pronounced on it. It's, it's head. It's head is also different than a Sonoran Desert Toad. It's a lot smaller too. Pretty neat, Great Plains Toad. This this thing has come out with all the monsoon we got. All right. Okay, here's a pool on the side of this wash. And you'll notice that the entire thing is full of little tiny tadpoles. All of those are tadpoles. Now what's interesting about this is that it just rarely rains here in the desert. This year has been really good uh, for monsoon activity. So this year we've got a lot of rain, but it's not really typical for for here how much rain we've got this summer. And so these these amphibians are able to breed, deposit eggs, and then uh, have these tadpoles go through their life cycle in a very short amount of time. And who knows how long this water is even going to be here. Next week it's supposed to be pretty dry with, you know, 107 degree heat. So hopefully it lasts long enough for these tadpoles to develop. But it's it's pretty amazing the that these tadpoles are able to and the frogs are able to complete their life cycle like this with so little water. They just have to take advantage of years like this where we have lots of water. I don't know how they do it in years where we don't get much monsoons. But yeah, it's pretty rare to see standing water out here in these washes. This year we've had tons of monsoons. Okay, today is a very exciting day because of this. This is a king snake, and this is the first one of these I've ever found before. So, this thing is really, really pretty. It's obviously very young. They get way bigger than this. Uh, but I found it just crawling around in the wash in the sand. There's so many different toads and frogs and different things out tonight that it's probably out looking for those, maybe. So, I'm really, really excited about that. It's really cool. It's such a muscular little snake.
So that's really exciting. Here's another look at the king snake. Wow, that banding on it is so cool. Yeah, I've always wanted to find one of these. Today was the day. I wondered if I wouldn't see something like this out here with as many frogs and toads as there are out today. Super cool. It's holding perfectly still so we can't see him. Okay, I think it's time to let this guy go. We'll see you later, buddy.